Joe Koonin of VTAC Instruments, one of the two Tide Gold Pitbon Editors Award winners for 2011. The Gold Award was given for the VTAC True Surface Microscopy, a topographically corrected confocal Raman microscope system. Uh, would you like to explain a little bit about the technology, Joe? Yes, with confocal Raman microscopy on rough or bended surfaces, you have always the problem to stay in focus. And we tried out of focus, we tried also with, with other methods, but it turned out that this don't work very well on all surfaces. So we were, had the idea to uh, find and in, in, include a sensor which works on all surfaces without being in touch with the surface, like, like an AFM or a profilometer. And we found a so-called uh, chromatic confocal sensor, which is in fact a very, very bad chromatic corrected lens. So therefore, the foci for blue light, green light, red light are far apart from each other. And if you then enter white light into that, and have a surface in a certain distance, and only one color, one uh, the surface is in, in, in the foc focal plane for one color, and only this color is then reflected. Analyze this with a spectrometer, you get the color, and therefore you get a distance from your sensor. So that's a quite fast, very accurate. So it has a set resolution of about 100 nanometer lateral resolution. Uh, about 10 micron confocal sensor and with this sensor we do a topographical mapping of the whole surface and then we move with a motorized stage the sample under our Raman microscope and use this measured surface to move the microscope up and down to keep the focus of the microscope on the surface. So therefore we can measure for example on a rough tablet or we can measure on a on a tilted rock without having to to uh, polish or uh, other methods to make the, the uh, surface flat. So therefore, we can really track track the surface, get these at every point at every pixel a Raman spectrum, and afterwards we can uh, 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 evaluate these huge number of Raman spectrum, maybe 50,000, maybe 20,000, maybe 100,000 for example for line positioning or for line uh, width or for integral line intensity or even more advanced techniques like uh, basic analysis, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, so we can get a distribution of different chemical species on this surface. So one example is over here at the booth uh, on a display, that's a tablet with two uh, active uh, pharmaceutical ingredients and one uh, filler particle, so this can be clearly distinguished, so you see the distribution, the size distribution of that. Another example is a, a geological sample, a rock, where you can see the different uh, components of this rock, how they are distributed on their natural surface without uh, the need to polish it, uh, something like that.